Growing up, I had so many great memories with my father. You know, whether he was taking us horseback riding or taking us fishing or taking us to the zoo, just spending time with, with dad was, was amazing. And, and some of the greatest memories I've had were in sports, whether it was playing hockey with my brother Joel or football and especially boxing. My dad never missed a boxing match. One of my favorite memories was when I was in the finals of the New York State AAU Boxing Tournament. I mean, epic battle. I was in the fight of my life. We were going back and forth. I remember driving this guy across the ring and all of a sudden we went through the ropes, into the stands, onto the cement floor, into the, the chaos and the confusion, the commotion. I remember thinking, I gotta get back in the ring. And as I start climbing up the ring apron, I see this man with a white sweater holding the ropes open for me and I realized, that was my father. My father is in the ring. And he's saying, Mark, come on, get back in. And I, I went on to not only win the tournament and get most outstanding boxer, but the thing I'll never forget is that my dad was always there for me. My father was living in Buffalo, New York, and I was living in Florida. He had to go to the hospital for some tests, and they ended up keeping there longer and longer. So I decided to fly in and see my father. And uh, my other sister Jody and I would stay at his house and we'd visit him all day. Then we'd go back to his house and sleep. And we got a phone call at six in the morning. They said, Mark, you need to come see your dad right away. So we drove to the hospital as fast as we could. When we pulled up to the hospital, there was no parking. So I jumped out of the car. I took the elevator up to the floor that he was on. I ran down the hall to my dad's room. When I opened up his hospital room door, I could see my father wasn't doing good. So I, I went inside his room, I took the hospital, there's these railings on the hospital bed, and they snapped down, and I scooped my father in my arms, and I got in his bed, and I laid my dad across my lap. And just then, my, my dad, he just like, he just looks up, and then closes his eyes. And I lost it. I just started crying. I just held him, and then just said, and when I was crying, my tears were coming out so fast, I kept hitting my father in his face where it looked like my dad was crying. But I never saw my father cry. He was like one of those old school tough guys. He just never cried. But for the first time, it looked like my father was crying, even though they're my tears. And then I remember what he told me when I was eight years old. I said, Daddy, don't cry. Everything's gonna be okay. Please don't go. You're my best friend. He died in my arms. Unfortunately, my dad has passed on and all I have is those memories and I won't be able to make new memories, but maybe you can. Maybe this is a day that you can reach out and call your dad, stop over and see him, give him a big hug, tell him how much you love him. There's no promises of tomorrow. Life passes quickly, life is precious, but you have today. Don't miss the opportunity, make today a special day.